All right, very quick video um, here, not gonna bore you guys, but a lot of people ask me what happened to my bar crushes, so let me cover it in a couple of minutes or less. So the first 670, uh, without going into any detail, after about 60 hours or something, complete total accident, low tide, coming back in a big swell, literally, you know, ran it into a rock. Um, dumb, dumb, dumb stuff. Anyway, unmarked reef, not on any sounders or charts or anything. So basically it pushed the hull up for about, I don't know, close to about a, a meter long and up about four inches. Didn't puncture it and about six inches wide. So it didn't puncture it, did not look like a big deal. But you've got to think for, for a fully boxed sub uh, structure underneath the floor, um, for that floor to push up four centimeters, there's been considerable uh, damage and stretching and trauma which has occurred to that substructure. So look, Bar Crusher didn't want to fix it, they didn't want to touch it. Um, the repair is assigned by uh, Club Marine, didn't want to touch it, that's who I was insured with. So they basically uh, wrote it off. They, they paid me out my full amount of insurance and declared it as a repairable write-off. Here's where it gets interesting. So I bought that boat in a 2018 for I think it was 87,000. Okay, boats were a lot cheaper back then. Sadly, um, I got my money back. I then saw it for sale as a repairable write-off. So they, they sold it off. And I think they sold it off for about forty or 45000 Okay. Then I saw that someone bought it, a company. I can't remember who. Then I saw them re-advertise it for 85000 after it had been repaired. And the buyer at that stage probably didn't even know of the, the serious damage that had occurred to that boat. Um, I don't know how good of a repair job they actually did. So it sold for like 85000 And then I saw it advertised again for like 90 something thousand. So that boat sold for more than um, I bought it for, at least twice that I know of, after it had been repaired. So anyway, that was uh, a little bit interesting watching that. So someone out there owns that boat and probably has no idea, you know, what I did to it. Um, anyway, then on to the, uh, on to the 670 HT, you know, I did about 200 hours in that boat and, and plenty of, um, adventures and look, and, um, people keep asking me, you know, why did I sell it? And there's, there's a few reasons. Um, you know, I love that boat, but the bottom line is the bar crushers are quite light. Okay. For, for their length. So it is a boat that still gets pushed around quite a bit in swell and chop. Um, compared to some of its peers. So I wanted something a bit heavier, a bit sturdier, a bit more sure uh, footed going through the swell and the chop for the sort of fishing I do. Um, so for example, it's no, you know, it's, it's by no coincidence that Bar Crusher doesn't advertise any of their hull weights. They advertise towing weights. So it's very important that you know what the weight of the hull is that you are, that you are buying. The bar crushers don't get seriously meaty and heavy until you go to a 730. A 730 is a big step up above the 670. A huge step up, but also a big step up in price. So, you know, the 670 was just a little bit small for what I wanted, okay, and a little bit light. But in any case, um, more than that, it was really an opportunity. So, like, for example, I watch interest rates, markets, housing, boat prices all the time, okay? I watch and monitor things and I sort of make my own predictions and I really feel that the mark, that the, the boat market was, secondhand market was absolutely peaking because of all the COVID sagas and I also was aware that interest rates were about to start rising, okay? And a lot of people borrow boat, money for boats and things against their houses and mortgages and whatever, so... Basically, I, I saw this perfect storm coming, which has hit right now, which is that um, interest rates have gone up. Um, people are, that own all these boats that they probably shouldn't have bought and probably can't afford, so they're trying to dump them on the market. The secondhand boat market at the moment is absolutely flooded. Prices are declining really quickly. People are just trying to get out of these expensive boats. Bar crushers all over the market right now, secondhand. So I basically... I um, predicted this perfect storm was going to come. There was an opportunity to sell my bar crusher for a good price. So I think I bought it for 114 in 2020. I spent another three and a half or something on it in little extras in here and there. And then I sold that boat for 124,000. So I actually made seven 
grand, whatever that works out to be, it's close to eight grand profit on that boat after using it and putting 200 hours on it. So it was an opportunity. It was not that I hated the boat, uh, absolutely loved that boat, but I, I knew that prices were gonna crash um, because interest rates were going up. Um, so that pretty much did turn out and I decided to take on a project boat just to remove myself from that whole situation, that whole equation. I went and got numerous quotes for, for new boats in the six and a half to seven and a half meter price range. New pro boat prices are still absolutely ridiculous. You know, um, it's no longer, there's no value for money now in buying a big trailer boat. It's absolutely dead, okay? I'd be so surprised if people are rushing out to buy very expensive trailer boats now, especially with interest rates way up, and especially if you still have a mortgage, you know, because if you've got a mortgage, you don't own your boat. That's the way I look at life. You know, if you've got a mortgage outstanding, you don't own shit, right, basically. So, um, the cost of money matters. So yeah, look, crashed the first one, got insurance, bought the second one, sold it at a profit, removed myself from the game, and I'm um, just having a bit of fun with this project boat at the moment, which I've decided to stick with for a while. So uh, if you're following that, keep going. It's uh, booked in to get a uh, SS175 high wide one kilowatt transducer installed in the hull, a uh, nice custom rocket launcher made up and the custom fuel tank with a bunch of little cool other bits and pieces. So look, stick around and uh, yeah, be plenty more videos to come. All right, chat soon.